it's a Hong Kong institution. The annual Rugby Sevens tournament celebrates its 40th birthday this year. The three-day weekend attracts fans from all over the world, including some of the biggest names in the sport. It's just grown, you know, year on year exponentially, you know, into this, you know, it's incredible to think it's 40 years old. And um, the excitement it, it generates, you know, particularly here in Hong Kong, but I think the world over, even if people aren't that interested in, in sevens, they tend, this team tends to be the, the marquee event for people to look at and see how they're getting on. And you can see that it's a carnival atmosphere, people in the stands having a great time, irrespective of what the weather's like. Hong Kong is part of the World 7 Series and there's added spice to this year's tournament as the top four teams will qualify for the Rio 2016 Olympic Games where Rugby Sevens makes its debut. Fiji, Australia, New Zealand and top of the table South Africa are amongst the favourites to book their tickets to Brazil. South Africa has obviously been one of the four teams in the competition. You know, we Struggled against them, I didn't play in Wellington, but the boys got a, uh, a good win, you know, they're a good side, um, got big boys up front and a lot of pace out wide, so if you're, um, if you're not playing as, as best as you can, you don't even have a chance of winning, so, you know, we don't have them in our pool, so we'll take one game at a time, but if we meet them, hopefully we'll be able to, um, yeah, get the job done. It's a carnival of sport, colour and fun, and one that draws in some 120,000 fans over the three days.